Hello and uh, welcome everyone. So in the previous video of this playlist, we talked about uh, the different methods we have in the, the mutations and query for the user. And we also did the partial implementation of all these methods. Now, what we will do is we will write the actual implementation, what those mutations will return. I mean, what they are doing like saving, updating, deleting all the data. And query is just about fetching the data from the MongoDB database. So before going into the details, I want you to uh, have a look on to this particular diagram. So what we did for a user schema, let's forget about the message. We have only user schema and we did a type definition for the user schema and we are writing the resolver for the user schema only. And user schema is a database entity in a MongoDB. So we are defining the type definitions. We are declaring the queries, mutation and subscription for the user. Okay. Corresponding to that, we are creating the resolvers. In the resolvers, we again defining, okay, this is the query. What will be the actual implementation of query, the implementation of mutation and the subscription. And the resolvers are actually the main entities which will be talking to your external entity. Maybe some REST endpoint, maybe a database layer, maybe some legacy service. So resolvers will be able to deal with that. And based on that, you will be able to get the data in the queries, mutations will update the data and subscription will emit an event and we will get the response out of it. Okay, so let's uh, look at it. So what we have done is, uh, let's define, so this was the user model we have already created. This is a MongoDB schema model. And in this video, we are going to define the, the user resolver. So we have kind of, I think, queries we have done. So let's write our mutations. Okay, so queries we have already written users. So these queries are corresponding to the type definition we have done. So in this type definition, I said I will have a three queries and four mutation methods. Same name, same argument need to be placed in the resolvers. Here I have the user resolver. I did. I already placed uh, all the methods in the query users, user and me. Now we will be adding a type definition. Type definition is like, uh, I mean, sorry, we are going to add a methods, mutation methods with their implementation. So here we will be talking about one by one. So what all methods we have in the mutations, we can see sign up, sign in, delete user and, and update user. So here we have our resolver. Let's uh, talk about it. Sign up. Okay, sign up will have a single block. So we'll have some arguments. The arguments are like this parent or root, and all the arguments or the payload we are getting. Then here, this is important part. So from the index.js we are setting some context. So this is the context I was talking about. I will be setting some context where I will be able to pass the models, MongoDB schema models. Me is nothing but a variable which will have your own information post login and the secret key for uh, creating the token and validating the token. Okay. So currently we are going to use the models from the context. So in the resolvers, there are three arguments. Even if you talk about the queries, parent, the arguments and the models. Here you can also access me if you want, but we don't have any role. We are just accessing models. Models has the object of the Mungood schema model. So you can just do models.user, models.user. And we are able to access the model and the queries, MongoDB queries. Similarly, here also we will have this. And in the sign up, in the sign up, obviously we are going to get a lot of things like username email and password these three attributes we got now what we will be doing is uh, here we will be creating the we will be storing the user i mean we will be creating the user so const user equal to await here we already have a models dot user models dot user dot uh, create I mean you can just pass the payload payload is having the username email and password okay and we are returning the user object 
okay this is how what we are doing is we are just uh, doing a sign up and based on the sign up we are just creating a user in the system so what we want is once you do the sign up it's like a dummy right uh, not security and all so what we will do is we will also generate a token and we will send in the response so what we are sending in the response is token from the sign up request and we have a method created i think create token and once user is created this user object i have and secret so that i will be accessing from the context which i talked about because in the context i am passing two things in the index.js i am passing secret models and all so i am able to access secret here and the expiry is for this token is 30 minute 30 m speed okay and we are returning it uh, that's it so sign up if you just see the sign up in the schema definition i think we are returning a token only so we are good at this point now we can define another method which is sign in so sign in is also it will take the login id and password so just need to take care about these method names should be the same whatever we have defined let me just check so sign up sign in uh, we have to take care of the naming it should be capital then we have sign in so here also we have async and we are passing some argument argument will be your parent arguments will be the request body and we are passing models and secret clear and here we will do the validation const user equal to await models dot user dot here we will have that method which we created which is find by login in the user schema here we created one method which was statics method find by login so we will be using this here in the resolver definition find by login or you just pass the login password login is can be a username okay we are calling uh, we are just changing the attribute name it can be username also and this is my sign in request if we got a user <coughs> if user is null then you just need to send a through i mean you are you have passed invalid username so there are user input array we can use and we can see with login anything okay now after this if this is not the true that means we got the valid username now we need to validate the password if password is valid then we just need to return a token so we can write it here is valid means await user dot validate password this is the same method mongoose.model here we are saying user.validate password because we got the user entity right so validate password is there in the model definition we are passing password if password is valid that means we got the valid user and then we will return a token so if you see the definition schema definition sign in also returning a token i mean sign up should not re return a token it can just say okay you are logged in successfully uh, you can come back okay so we can just change the implementation or whatever you want uh, in the coming back to the resolver here now the other methods which we have is update user where we are updating the username or delete user we'll just try to implement a delete user first delete user and it's having the same async and some of the argument which we are passing parent and id which we wanted to delete and in the from the context we are getting models so here we can just simply say uh, const user 
first can we just do a find operation await dot await models dot user dot find by id find by id and we can just pass the id if we got the user if we got the user means user exist and then we can do await user dot <coughs> the remove method is should be there remove else return false it is actually returning a boolean so we just need to return true and false so if we, we find that user in the mongodb collection means find by id is giving us an object then we can do a remove otherwise we can return a false because user doesn't exist okay so these are like a we wrote a resolver methods i mean the mutation methods in the resolver query methods are already written so the important part is how do we access the data source we are passing some properties in the context this particular every query methods takes takes these arguments which are like parent argument models and uh, okay now i just check the definition of every query method but these are the set of arguments which we pass and we can access the models like models.user similarly we are accessing that in here okay this is the one way of doing it uh, we are writing these mutations and in the same way you will have another entity models also where you will be defining the schemas for them and same same in the same way you will be writing the resolvers in which you will be defining the queries mutations and subscription it is simple like if you talk about this sign up we just doing a registration and maybe just returning a success message and sign in we taking the request object okay i didn't put the so here we are getting the login and username and password so that is my login in the sign in i'm getting a login and password because this is the two input so this represent my request body and i can extract directly from there these are my models and secret which i'm passing in the context so this is the context this is the argument and this is your root which is a parent okay i hope now this is clear in the next example we will try to run the query for the user schema we are just targeting only first user login with user sign up if you are able to achieve it then we will talk about the message entity and we will write the type definition for the message and the resolver